Good morning, this is Dan. Welcome to Angle Geist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your sub subscription. This is the daily forecast for all signs. It is originally created for Saturday the 6th of August, but it is not solely set for that date. Um, it is to be utilized like when you see it. If it makes sense to a situation in your life, please by all means use it. For those of you that watch regularly, it's just building upon the energy of the Sunday reading. Um, the Sunday reading does populate in the lower left hand corner after this reading. So I'm referencing cards that you don't see in this reading. That's the um, reading that I'm referencing back to. So please check that out. If you're new to me, please check out the drop down menu underneath the video. In there is ways to support the channel, um, things to think about when utilizing the channel, what decks I'm using during the reading, how to contact me for a private reading or follow me on social media. Also, um, just simple ways to support the channel, hit that thumbs up button, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell, share the video out, leave me a question or comment on the video, all of that stuff greatly helps the channel. So let's see what's going on in the cards today. <clears throat> So we have the Knight of Cups. We love this guy. He's a usually a very romantic um, card, an offering, it's sort of like a you know a declaration of love. Knights are always like you know loyal in their service. Um, they are. Well, the Knight of Cups certainly is like emotionally available, right? In touch with our emotions. When I think back to the Sunday reading, we still are kind of with that uh, card from the Hidden Truth, which is, I wonder how you feel. And feelings, or I wonder how you feel, would definitely key into the Knight of Cups. He would be somebody that would be all up in his feels, right? He would be okay with his feelings. He would be able to demonstrate those feelings, um, uh, be comfortable in those feelings. Uh, generally, you know, his feelings, because he's cups, he's, uh, he, real, he rules the realm of emotions, and he's in service to either himself, meaning we would be in service to ourselves today, or in support of ourselves, or those around us from a place of love, compassion, honor. Um, when I think about this card, the Sunday reading, the underpinning card for the end of the week was the Four of Swords. And that is a card of like sort of meditation, reflection, uh, going inward, it's certainly mentally, and finding, you know, clearer thoughts, clearer communications, what we know to be true for ourselves, um, and, and how to sort of express that. Emotionally, we should be able to express that rather clearly with the Knight of Cups present, right? He's sometimes to me, he's like an offering of love or or a situation that would be beneficial, that would um, uh, uh, produce in us, in my opinion, like warm feelings, um, connection, compassion, service, uh, uh, or I want to say this, like this isn't, to me I get this feeling like today's not a day where we're being, you know, um, like selfish or or um, thinking only of ourselves. We might be thinking of the greater picture. Uh, we might be a little bit more clear today, not only on how we think about a situation, but also how we feel about it, right? And we may, like with the night here, it makes me think that we might be more willing today to, um, I don't know, like work on this situation, fix the situation, infuse it with love, uh, uh, protection, service, those should be our focuses today, um, from a place of, you know, um, emotional availability, uh, touching ground with how we feel, but also feeling strong in those emotions, right? That would also be the night. There would be, uh, there could be, you know, an opportunity for even romance today. He's a very romantic card. And so if we have to lead the charge in creating that romance, even if that romance is only for ourselves, right? Let's say we need to create space in our mind, in our thoughts, 
in our hearts. Today is the day to do that, especially with the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups present. So, to me it feels like this is a very, uh, what's the word, like, beneficial day for us to rearrange our thoughts, our feelings around a situation to a place that's sort of more healthy, um, more supported, more balanced, um, more present, right? And, um, and to not, I don't know if like ashamed is the right word, but we don't need to hide it, right? We don't need to, what's the word? Like we don't need to necessarily hide our feelings or our thoughts today. I think that um, the feeling that I get from this card coupled with the Four of Swords is that we should be feeling rather clear mentally and emotionally and be able to stand in those emotions um, from a place of strength, uh, nobility, um, you know, even maybe some power and uh, really own um, what we're thinking, how we're feeling about a situation and act from a place of love, compassion, kindness, sweetness, productivity, all of those things are things that I associate with the Knight of Cups, right? He's very present and um, available to a situation. If we find ourselves needing to support someone else or ourselves, today is a really good day to do it, um, to find that support from within. It could be us having to, you know, supply that support but we have plenty of it, is my feeling, with, especially with the Four of Swords underneath. It's like we've done the work over the last few days to kind of clear our mind and clear our hearts. And um, we understand or have an awareness of where we're at, both emotionally and mentally, enough so that we can present sort of like our best self or our best attitude, our best perception, our best um, offering in a way uh, that is like clear, precise, um, and available. That is also the single cup that he's presenting, right? To me, that singular cup is this idea of a clarity around how we feel, what we've been going through, what we've been thinking, and um, and using using that to like our own benefit, our own um, uh, what's the word? Like enrichment, I guess. Uh, that serves maybe us first and foremost, but then also maybe a situation or another person also, right? So we could be there for others or, um, you know, how we could be focused on how to better create the results that we want from a place of love and kindness rather than from fear or worry or any of that. It's like there's a, a there's a, uh, a letting go of any sort of resentment, fear, um, discouragement, all of that sort of stuff today. There's a kind of a freedom with this. And to me, the Knight of Cups can be very, like, secure in how they feel. And, and maybe even with that Four of Swords underneath it, we might be even very able to express how we feel about a situation or about... Um, another person within our lives that we we want to express those feelings or thoughts to. Now let's look to the shamanic medicine card. So this is insects and it's support. I love how pink this card is coupled with the Knight of Cups because the pink color makes me think of the heart chakra. It also is very warm and loving. And although the insects are kind of, you know, a little bit of an odd combination with the idea of support. I love seeing the butterflies and the dragonflies and all of these different little creatures that, although sometimes they may seem annoying, they actually serve like a important part in the grand scheme of things, right? We look at insects as being maybe meaningless or unimportant, but in all actuality, they serve a purpose in the, in the sort of the um, natural world, right? And so when I look at this, it's like maybe the things, and this is just me doing like a generalized interpretation of sort of what I'm seeing in the cards, maybe the things that used to annoy us or we used to see as petty or the feelings that we had or the thoughts that we had, we actually understand them from a better, clearer place today. And we're ready to maybe embrace them 
and love them and allow them to sort of serve their purpose, even if before they were possibly annoying or uh, didn't make sense to us or we were having a hard time embracing them or uh, like maybe even repelled by them, right? The idea of support too would definitely be the Knight of Cups role. Knights are in service, right? They are definitely a, a support card in that regard. And then being the Knight of Cups, it is a position of support from love, compassion, kindness, emotional availability. So I like that these two cards are paired together, especially with the Four of Swords underneath it, because it feels like there's a clarity today in how we feel and where we're going to support a situation, or ourselves even for that matter, emotionally and mentally, um, to bring about possibly sort of a change or transformation in how we relate to a situation or see a situation or deal or interact within that situation, right? So let me read insect supports to, support to you. Insects come to, to free you from feeling, oh, sorry, I'm so tired, you guys. Insects come, insects come, comes to free you from feelings of entrapment and powerlessness. This card indicates a lack of support from family and loved ones. Perhaps you feel as if no, nobody understands you or is even willing to try. You have experienced some type of upheaval and your loved ones may be geograph geographically, spiritually, or emotionally distant. Insects has crawled by to help you to adapt to your environment. Insects will teach you how to proceed with and how to be proactive. For insects, never let something like a natural disaster get in its way. Call upon insects whenever you get discouraged. The unsinkable nature of creepy crawlies reminds us to keep moving forward no matter what. Insects brings you the medicine of tenacity, patience, and detachment. Although insects have a strong sense of teamwork and community, they also understand the importance of minding their own business. Don't let your light fade when your words are disrespected or your actions are mocked. What other people think is none of your concern. It is your sacred journey that counts. Insects is here to give you the support and encouragement you need to fly high all the way. Insects revealed. In Egypt, the humble fly was given a gold medal for bravery and the scarab beetle was revered for its symbolic power of eternity. The omphalos of Delphi in ancient Greece was a beehive-shaped stone thought to protect the temple. Native American dream catchers honor spider medicine as it weaves its web. Other divinatory meanings. You are protected, supported, and safe. Go with the flow. Be careful not to let worries turn into negative affirmations. Say positive statements daily. Acknowledge your strengths so you can call upon them when needed. Teamwork brings about desired results. Insects speak. Spiders, beetles, those who fly. Upon you cast their beady eye. Escape from web in which you're caught. You have the insect's full support. So I feel like this does feel like we might be shifting from something that was bothersome or negative to something that is positive and loving or and it could just be within us emotionally and within our own mind right because of that four of swords there was something in here where did it say although insects have a strong sense of teamwork and community oh insects brings you the medicine of tenacity patience and detachment that patience and detachment, even the tenacity would be in the Four of Swords. That's that mental, like, sort of clarity. If we're working on that underneath this and feeling feelings of love and compassion towards the situation, a situation that would normally be bothersome to us, actually, we can support it in a way that might be sort of different or more, um, more loving than we normally would and we can find that we're actually supported even if things going on around us aren't necessarily the exact way we want them to be. That's kind of the feeling that I get, and that's sort of how I connect these cards. So let's go to the grounding stone. And the stone to ground, ah, perfect. The stone to ground in today is on uh, uh, obsidian again, which is a deep, deeply grounding you know, the blackness of the obsidian is like, it's almost, to me, the color black kind of, even though it's a dark color, there's like no room for impurities, if that makes sense. It's like pure in its blackness. And so the depth of it is like going into our own depths 
uh, going into, and when we have the Four of Swords underneath this, which is also very much a card of meditation, um, going inward and finding out how we think, how we feel, the language we speak to ourselves, and is that serving us? Is that working for us? Is that um, fostering or coming from a place of love and compassion or a place of, you know, discouragement and um, worry, right? And that can be like sort of the duality of insects. You know, they serve at a very important purpose, but they can also seem annoying and, and you know, um, and petty or, or problematic. We don't have to have those things be problematic to us today. Uh, it's my feeling as long as we sort of take the time to meditate, take the, the time to harbor that four of swords, clear our minds, clear our communication. Maybe we don't even communicate a whole lot today. Maybe it's just this idea and feeling of love towards ourselves or a situation we're dealing with that allows us to be in support or feel supported within something that may have been otherwise um, bothersome or annoying, right? But we have to take that time and that space to find that clarity within ourselves. And that's what meditation is sort of telling me as far as grounding in that. It will help to perpetuate that Four of Swords clarity, which brings about the sort of um, honor and availability of the Knight of Cups. I hope that makes sense, guys. <laughs> I think that it does. So if it does make sense, please leave me a message and let me know that the uh, reading pertains. And um, please tune in tomorrow. For those of you that are new again, and for those of you that watch regularly, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, um, share the video out. And um, like I said, leave me a question or comment. Let me know if this applies because it's kind of I had a little bit of an interesting reading. I think it's actually really good. It feels like there's a shift taking place within ourselves so that we can better relate to what was one time at one time not working for us. That is your forecast. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care and have a wonderful day.